And this is my final project for my graphics programming class here at Ohio State. Uh, you can see the maze beginning to form now. I actually enjoy that effect when all the black blocks are forming. Now this first maze creation algorithm basically keeps a list of all the open nodes and it randomly chooses one at each turn to open up a new wall so you can see that it's continually branching out from the center. This is actually the second maze generation algorithm I used. I'll show you the first one I did earlier. It was very easy to repurpose it and create this one just using a different data structure, actually. Very, very powerful the way you store the data. And you'll see that opening area off to the left. That's where all the player and non-player characters will be set. Start and finish will also be randomly generated here in a minute. There's the start, and there's the finish. Now you can see those blue guys are the enemies. I'm going to be trying to beat them, and there's my character. You can see me messing around there at the beginning, just trying to give them a little bit of a head start. Now there are two different pathfinding algorithms the enemies can use. One of them is a random method. It only looks one square ahead, always tries to move towards the finish. If it can't move toward the finish, it just moves in another random direction, but then as soon as it moves there, it tries to move back to the finish. So you can see them getting perpetually stuck in the corner up there. Now, you can see me messing around a little bit. These other two guys actually have implemented a full pathfinding algorithm. Talk more about it later. You can see me trying to catch up, but I'm just not fast enough. My speed, of course, is greater than them, but I gave them enough of a head start that they ended up winning this one. And you can see there at the end, this guy will just continue to blow up until he covers the entire screen. That's kind of how I signified the end. Now the second maze algorithm is actually my favorite to watch. Instead of using a random node each time it goes to open up a new space, it uses the last one that it had and will continually open up that path until it boxes itself into a corner and there are no more open paths from it. You can see it's already boxed itself in a couple of times, had to go back to the last open node and then branch off again from there. This algorithm, as I said before, was the first one I implemented, and it tends to make a little bit more difficult paths to follow, or at least longer ones. One of the drawbacks, of course, to this one is that, like the first algorithm I showed, you can end up having a simple path through the maze. You'll notice that it's pretty much a straight shot from the left side to the right side there across the bottom. That's just due to the limited maze area we have to work with, although if the start and finish are placed in good enough places, they, of course, are generated randomly as well we might actually have a decently long path to follow. Now, and you can see it's taking a long time to generate some of the enemies this time. There must be a lot of enemies that use the more complex pathfinding algorithm. 8 cores, 3.5 gigahertz, and I'm still maxing out my CPU at 100%. And there we go. There's the last one. It's actually a very good place for the start. Nice symmetry there. So we can see one is already stuck randomly. And... Looks like three have made it out, so three of the enemies have implemented the more complex pathfinding algorithm. They actually will look at the entire maze at the very beginning they're created, that's what that pause was, and it will actually calculate a path through the maze ahead of time, so all it has to do on each step is just pull the location of its next move off of a stack and then go to that location.
Uh, you can see me pausing every once in a while. I'm trying to calculate the maze in my head as I go through, too. I'm actually going to try and beat them this time. You can see I've gotten a good enough head start. I should be able to do it. Those are basically the only two pathfinding algorithms the enemies use, the incomplete one and the complete one, although there are very many more possibilities for ways to improve upon both of them. Also possibilities for ways to improve the maze generation. And you can see I've just won there. I'm blowing up like the enemy did when it won before. And the enemies have also stopped moving, a good signal that the game is done. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.